All right, here we go. Ready to race here at Canada. And green flag, we're underway. For the B-Class Canadian Grand Prix. Keith Stevens with a great jump. Almost three wide into the first turn. A track very familiar for all of us. Well, we should know. Well, we should be familiar with this racetrack. Tim Randolph in a number nine car trying to get second there. Colin Cropley in the 11 and fourth. Kenny Johnson fifth. Peters hauling Ned Lightning plays Haas. For the race lead, and Flairmain takes it. Very aggressive, well, aggressive, but not super aggressive. Looks like Sam and Oskian has had a bad start. He's lost five spots already. Or, well, four. Gotta remember. Tim Randolph gonna get the jump on his teammate and take second. That drops Stevens to third. Lost Ken to the pit road. Yeah, he's lost the front wing of that race car. Right on board with Tim Randolph here. Ooh, that was close. Nearly made contact there with Flair Main. Got a pass there. Dull Holiday looks like she got up to seventh with that move. Matt Haas with the block. Also, lost. Also making the move. It's also like a thousand times right there. Oh, we're gonna get real close. Might have been some slight contact there. Ned drops a spot. Lightning Blaze moves up to eight. And they're back where they started. To the hairpin they go. No one makes the move to the inside and make a pass, surprisingly. Nice long stretch straight away. Here the cars just roar right by. Tim Randolph all over Flair Main. Not gonna make a move here. Cause he knows he's, he'll be on the outside into turn two. Go back here. You see Eric Monaco battling it out side by side here. Abraham going a little wide, trying to hang on to that spot. A few of them clipping the grass, but that's okay. Very close up front. Second and third. Bring back uh, Cropley. Won the Australian Grand Prix Dash B race. Currently running in fourth. And had a, had a good finish at the Monaco Grand Prix. B class, of course, obviously. Fast as that, Oskin has it. Probably got those fresh tires on. a small lead once again. 
properly in the 11. Where is he in the standings? Let me check. He's currently 7th in points. He's currently 18 points behind the, the points leader. So that's 2nd place right there. Oh, here we go. So, if we get 2nd and the points leader get 0. So jump right up. Lightning Blaze is the points leader. 11 point lead over Sam and Oskan, who's currently in last. And Lightning Blaze is currently in 8th place. ERS is available. Teammates going at it. Tim Randolph not wanting to give up second here. Holding him up. Well, Flair Main continues to pull away. Brad Justin Jr. is now on pit road. He most likely has front wing damage. Tim Randolph now pulling away from Stevens a little bit. Kenny Johnson, Blake Peters, Holloway. Lightning place, Matt and Sun Mao Keys. Currently in the point paying position. Oh. A little too hard over there. Anyone gonna make a pass here? Nope, everyone stay single file. Okay, here we go. Our my favorite part, the racetrack. up to 190 almost 200 almost as fast as the oh contact possibly yeah probably got to be contact there but yeah these cars yeah entering that uh into that uh turn as here goes tim randolph to the inside he's gonna make a move and i think he's clear yes he is he's up to the front yeah, almost as fast as the Formula 1 car, yeah, the A-Class cars, as they reach over 200, around 205 we see, but probably got even, go even, bleh, go even faster than that, but, yeah, I guess there's no really balance here, but who cares, it's fun. Wow, Formula E cars run 200 miles an hour, how about that? Okay, maybe not. But yeah, these are uh, F2 cars. Yeah, F2. Whatever, B-Class. Yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty fast. I don't think they're, they're obviously not as fast as the real Formula 1 cars, but yeah, these guys, they are flying. The craziness. Different cars. Yeah. Pretty much sound different, look different, but they run almost exactly the same. Spec chassis and everything. Yeah, you're a sitting duck when you're coming down that long straightaway. This is part of straightaway. This, oh, this straightaway is also part of the ECRS zone, it's not separate. But Tim Randolph off to a. had a, a sizable lead. So he wouldn't get jumped, and looks like he's ran the fastest ever. Minute 29, it looks like. Yep. 29, 9.52. Grappley in the 11. Now all over the back wing of Flare Bane. Trying to bounce back here. Oh, a little bump. Oh, 
Like these cars are a little bit more durable. Oh, another contact. Another hit. Try not to wreck. Halfway to the checkered flag. But I guess you guys already knew that. That's right on board. Go. Yeah, you can hear Cropley's like feathering the, the throttle. Yeah, he could easily pass Flare Main, but chose not to. But I think he's gonna try here. He'll go around the outside. Oh, big lock up there. Big defensive move by Flare Main trying to over or outbreak Cropley there. And it worked. That looks like it worked. Stayed in front. Cause she knows she'll be on the outside line entering turn two. She'll be at the disadvantage and Cropley will go by and take second. Twenty nine seven oh two. Brad Jackson Jr. now has now has the fastest lap. He'll pick up the two points if he hangs on to that. Tim Randolph, four spots gain. Second most. Charlie Woodward has the most with five spots. However, he's in fifteenth place. No points for that. Holiday currently in fifth. Uh, no pressure from behind, but won't be in, in the zone. I don't think so. Yeah. Holiday is not in the DRS zone, so she will not have that ever. DRS, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So let's, uh. Holiday could find a way. 29 3 9 3 8. Not the fastest though, but under a minute 30, as we only see three drivers under a minute 30 seconds. Four laps to go. Over two sec almost two seconds, I should say. Tim Randall has over Flair Main for the race lead. Very clean race. Yeah, the Canadian uh, for both races last season, they were very clean and weren't that exciting for A class and B class, especially B class, but A class was surprising. I remember the two Ferraris getting together and that uh, one of the Force Indias, one of those cars, just uh, got off to such a huge lead, no one could catch him. None of these guys make a move, but here comes uh, Blake Peters. Also got, uh, who is that, somehow Keys? I think so, yeah. Three laps remaining. Pretty short race compared to the other races. Yeah, I felt like they were still a bit too long for a B-class race, so... Yeah, I think things uh, get, out, get a little out of hand. And not too much chaos, we had two cars lose their front wings and... That was it. That's all we had today. A little contact here and there, not a big deal, and Flare Main... Closing in quick, very quick. Let's see the gap. One, only a tenth behind, or or nine tenths behind. 
Oh yeah. Tim Randolph is a sitting duck with two laps to go. Will Flair may make the pass now. A little bit far back, but we'll have the advantage. Here we go. Two laps remaining. Several cars in contention for the race win. But realistically, it's probably going to be the top three. Either Randolph, Flaming, Copley, maybe Stevens, Holiday. I wouldn't say a long shot, but... Okay. Anything can happen here in these races. Two laps to go. Okay, they're pretty tightly packed now. Here's a pass for third. Keith Stevens trying to take third away. But uh, Cropley hangs on, gets back in front. Steven's not giving up yet. He looks at the inside, but he's a little far back to make that move. Kenny Johnson there in sixth place. Was he the one who won the Canadian Grand Prix last season in the A-Class? I think so. Okay, here we go. Again, this long straightaway. Oh, this time, yeah, Flaramine does not have DRS. She is now a sitting duck. Cropley in the 11, he doesn't make a move yet. Most likely gonna wait for the last lap. Here comes Holiday. Second fourth. Great pass. Oh wait, these DRS cells are conjoined, never mind. I said that earlier. White flag is out, one more lap to go. Yeah, no, it's under a second. Still got to get a little closer. I think Tim Randolph is even pulling away here. Probably trying to hang on to that final podium spot. Holly is looking. Very aggressive there. Probably gonna wait till they get to the long straight. Yeah, Flaramine. Don't think she can get there, so it'll be a fight for second. Or maybe just for third. Yeah, we'll not get that. Probably not a big sitting duck because he has DRS too. Here they come in the last two turns. Tim Randolph, he's going to win the Canadian Grand Prix Dash B. I don't have a, a better name for that, but there it is. Tim Randolph wins. Thurman, Cropley, Holiday, Stevens, Johnson, Peters, Med, Lightning Blaze, Sun Mount Keys. Your top 10. Could just click finish session there. Close out the scoreboard. So... There you have it, Tim Randolph for Dams Racing, or Dames. Uh, he has won it. Uh, Flair remains second, and uh, Colin Cropley or, has finished third for Campus Racing. So those are your podium finishers. Uh, Noel Holiday for MP Motorsports, Keith Stevens also for Dames as well. Uh, Frith, Kenny Johnson, six. Blake Peter, seven. Med, eight. Lightning Blaze, nine. Keys, tenth. So those guys get the points, and whoever got the fastest lap, no idea who. So Matt Haas, Lucas E, Ibrahim, and Rodriguez, Woodward, Monaco, Orman, Pitchard, Cheston Jr., and Oscan, the bottom 10. So unless any of these guys got the fastest lap, they will uh, not score any points today. And it looks like uh, racing, engineering, and art fail to score points. So two teams failed to score points. So that is it for the Canadian 
Grand Prix for the B-Class Series. We'll see you at the Red Bull Ring for the Australia, or, or, the Austrian Grand Prix for race number six. Yeah, race number six. We'll see you there.